In this section, I'm going to cover some of the more commonly used timing parameters and cues uh, that you may be using on the EOS. The first I want to look at is assigning a split time, and that is accomplished using the keypad. So I want to split my queue number two into separate up fade and down fade times. And the way I would do this is I select the queue that I want to work with, queue two, time. And the first thing I'm specifying is my uh, up fade time. And maybe I want the lights that are fading up to happen rather quickly in two seconds. To specify the down fade, I simply hit the time key again. The command line will post down time, and I can enter another down time, uh, separate down time. Maybe I want these lights to fade out quite a bit slower, maybe in six seconds. And I complete the command by pushing enter. Now we'll see in the cue list that intensity up and intensity down have separate ovals indicating their new times. And if I step back into Q1 and run that, we can see that my up fade is in two seconds and my down fade was in six. The next thing we want to look at is assigning a delay. Now a delay might be useful if a stage manager has multiple calls to make and lumps lighting in with a, a general go, but lighting really needs to wait so that you're, you're following the go, but the console can then hang on for a second or two. To assign a delay, it's the, a very similar command. I can say Q2, delay is the key right next to time, so I hit delay and I can specify a time in seconds. And the delay time shows up outside the timing oval, so you know that that's a delay that will occur before those timings occur. Step back up into Q1, and we can watch when I hit go. So one second delay, and then the, the queue continues. There may be a time when you need to finesse the timing of a queue even, even more, and we can use rate to do that. To assign a rate to this queue, I can select the queue number. Rate is a soft key on the EOS, so I hit rate. And now rate is expressed in a percentage where 100 is full. And maybe I want this queue, which is currently a, a duration of seven seconds, I need it to be just a little bit faster, maybe 110% of its current fade. So I type in 110% and enter. The console will now indicate in the rate column that we are looking at 110% rate. And the overall duration of the queue is now calculated to be 6.36 seconds. So you can see that using the rate command is a little bit easier than trying to figure out that you need a queue to be 6.36 seconds. And finally, I want to look at how you would do a manual override of a queue in progress, or a fade in progress, if you, if something should happen and you as the operator need to grab that queue and complete it manually. The way to do this is by using the manual override key, and that is in the bank of buttons next to the main fader pair. And to, to access this command, I push and hold manual override, and then I push the load button of the fader where the queue is happening. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to run Q3, and then I will do the manual override. So go, manual override in the load button. And the console's motorized fader pair will snap to the position where they are in the fade. And then it's up to me to finish the fade by moving it in the time desired. When the faders reach the end of their travel, the queue is complete. And that is using some of the more commonly used timing parameters and cues on the EOS.